ketchup for my veggie burger. I see like mayonnaise. Never tried that on a veggie burger. And maybe I should, but not today because Miley, I don't Miley, have the ketchup. Miley, Miley. They're like nails on a chalkboard. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 annoying TV show characters. Watch this. For this list, we've excluded cartoon characters we can't stand, because that's a list for another day. <laughs> what? Number 10, Janice Littman Goralnik Nay Hosenstein, Friends. Oh. My. God. Recurring characters are always good for a laugh or, in her case, a cackle. Starting in the show's first season, Janice surfaced periodically to act as love interest, annoyance, and ruiner of life-changing moments. Between appearances at the birth of Ross and Rachel's baby, Oh. My. God. The fertility doctor, Oh. My. God. Or Chandler and Monica's dream house, Oh. My. God. Janice and her nasal voice cause various unfortunate reactions in the friends and audience members alike. Never again will you have to hear the three words that make your balls jump back up inside your body. Number nine, Kimmy Gibbler, Full House. What's wrong with you? My mom told me to come over here and get my presents. There was a character referred to as the annoying neighbor on like all 90s sitcoms. Full House is no exception, and the Tanner's neighbor Kimmy Gibbler proves it. What would we do without Kimmy? One can only dream. Gibbler is DJ's best friend, for some reason. She's also dumb, wacky, loud, vibrantly dressed, her feet stink, and everyone always wants her to go home. Who invited her? But not before she delivers one of the lame one-liners she's famous for. I would like to recite a little poem entitled, Gas. <laughs> Number eight, Kim Bauer, 24. I don't know what to say. As if Jack Bauer doesn't have enough problems, he also has to constantly save his idiot of a daughter. What are you gonna do to me? Kim Bauer regularly finds herself in harm's way, distracting our beloved CTU agent from his appointed world-saving rounds. She's rebellious, whiny, and oblivious, but somehow she gets a job fighting terrorists alongside her dad. What is your problem? My problem is that everyone in this place earned their job. You got it because of your dad. Many fans cheer against her, or hope she gets eaten by a cougar. So close. Number seven, Fran Fine, the nanny. Hi, I'm Fran Fine. It's the sound of music, only with a nasally broad from Queens in the lead. I haven't even sung Climb Every Mountain yet. For six seasons, Ms. Fine led the hijinks with her cliched and flashy style. But what she lacked in refinement, she made up for in fashion sense and over-the-top physical comedy and tall hair. Even so, we take her whining to Mr. Sheffield a thousand times if we never have to hear that laugh again. <laughs> Number six, Lori Grimes, The Walking Dead. There's rage aimed at several of this show's characters. Take Andrea, who's constantly proving how strong she is, Carl, who's constantly proving how strong he is, or Lori, who's constantly letting Carl prove how strong he is. That's my boy! By a slim margin, we choose nagging wife Lori as the worst. Sweetheart, I want you to stay where Dale can see you, okay? Since her parenting skills are questionable, she forced her husband to battle his best friend, and she's a trembling mess anytime zombies are near. Ah! Number five, Wesley Crusher, Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm Wesley. Like the nagging wife, the precocious child is one annoying character type. The son of Dr. Beverly Crusher, Wesley is accused by diehard Trekkers of being whiny, obnoxious, condescending, and just plain arrogant. It's quite all right, sir. I understand. Please don't interrupt me, Wesley. This untrained goody-goody regularly solves the Enterprise's problems when a crew of highly qualified Starfleet officers can't get the job done. Well, I can't make any promises. And that earned him the distinction of being one of the least popular characters in sci-fi. Wesley, was our attempt to make you uncomfortable effective? Number four, Skylar White, Breaking Bad. I'd like you to watch this lady while I phone the police. She's just a normal woman who finds out her husband is a drug kingpin. Why hate her? Well, cause you're rooting for Walt, even though he's doing morally objectionable things. And Skylar's always in his way. I want you to pack your things and leave. Diehard Skylar haters also assert that Heisenberg's old lady is a harping shrew who smokes while pregnant, cheats, I f and launders money herself. Let she who is without sin cast the first stone. I'm a bookkeeper. 
So I actually, I know what money laundering is. Number three, Samuel Screech Powers, Saved by the Bell. My worst nightmare has come true. Unless we're mistaken, these are Bayside's cool kids. So why do they hang out with a kid as annoying as Screech? Because we're tough, right? Run! Not only is he nerdy and scrawny, which we could handle, he's also an obnoxious, socially awkward, scheming suck-up who causes way too many problems to be endearing. Who could have done this? And the voice cracking is just the icing on the cake. We're not surprised Lisa turned him down so much. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa revenge tactic. Number two, Steve Urkel, Family Matters. Hi, Mr. Winslow. I'm Steve Urkel. Remember those annoying 90s sitcom neighbors? He was their king. What do you think annoyed the Winslows most? His love of science, polka, or certain dairy product? Got any cheese? The glasses, suspenders, and pants hiked up to his armpits? The dance? No, it's obviously the voice. Can I do that? Oh, and this. Never mind. We admit it, he's lovable in a nerdy sort of way, but we'd still rather go on a date with Stefan or Kel. <gasps> Number one, King Joffrey Baratheon, Game of Thrones. I'm your prince. It's a testament to Jack Gleason's acting that most Game of Thrones fans want to see the inbred boy king's head on a pike. This one's your father. Look at him! Whether it's his insolence, arrogance, and whininess, his propensity towards prostitute abuse, his gleeful use of capital punishment, Bring me his head! Or his spoiled nature, I'm telling mother! He just gets under your skin, which makes him a great villain but it also makes it so damn satisfying when he gets slapped. You're talking to a king! Ah, and now I've struck a king. Did my hand fall from my wrist? Do you agree with our list? Which TV characters piss you off the most? For more top tens about your favorite and least favorite shows, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. I am looking forward to hearing all about it, but not right now.